Hi there, it's Shauna B again. Today I want to show you how to calculate standard hours by pay period and salary by pay period. We'll be looking at weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, and monthly pay schedules. So let's go ahead and get started with the weekly schedule. And there are eight hours in a standard work day, 40 hours in a standard work week, 52 weeks in the year, and there are 2,080 hours per year. To determine your 40 hours, you basically just uh, divide the 2,080 hours by 52 weeks, and that gives you your 40 hours. So 2,080 divided by 52 weeks equals 40 hours in the work week for a weekly payroll cycle. Moving on to biweekly. So again, there are still eight hours in a standard workday. There are 80 hours in a pay period instead of 40 as we saw earlier, and there are 26 weeks in a year. And uh, still, it's going to be 2080 for your um, annual hours per year. 2080 is the standard per year, which you'll see throughout this entire video. So to get your 80 hours, you divide 2080 by 26 weeks, and that gives you your 80 hours. On to a semi-monthly payroll schedule. This one can be a little bit tricky and uh, will vary uh, for each employer, as the others will as well, but this one um, will have uh, very set schedules that um, you'll want to make sure that you follow to ensure you understand how the pay is calculated. Uh, so definitely read your employer's handbook. Um, make sure you understand how this cycle works for the employer that you're working for. There are 86.67 regular hours per period, and you're going to multiply that by 24 weeks in the year to get your 2,080 hours. So there are 24 weeks in a semi-monthly pay schedule. And you basically, to get your hours, you divide your 2,080 divided by 24 weeks, and that gives you 86.67 hours. Onto the monthly schedule. So there are 173.33 regular hours in a monthly pay period. And you multiply that by uh, 12 months to get your 2,080 hours in the year. So there are, again, 173.33 hours, and you divide your 2,080 hours for the calendar year by 12 months, and that gives you your uh, monthly hours. On to the salary calculation. So to determine a weekly sal salary, you're gonna base it on an annual amount, and we're gonna use uh, $45,000 as an example. So if you're making $45,000 a year, you're gonna divide that by 52 weeks and that gives you your weekly pay amount. That's the gross pay amount. And that would be $865.38. And your hourly equivalent, equivalent will be $21.63 an hour. So here's just the, the basic calculation, uh, just broken down a little bit easier to read. So $45,000 a year divided by 52 weeks gives you $865.38 uh, per week, and that's your gross pay. And the hourly equivalent, you divide your 45,000 by your 2,080 hours per year, and that gives you your $21.63 per hour. An example of this payroll cycle is that it's paid every Friday, and it's usually for the, the prior week's work, basically, the work, the work that you week the prior uh, period to be paid on that Friday. Sorry if that was confusing, but basically it's just that you're paid every Friday in this example. To determine your biweekly salary based on the annual amount, so we're going to use that $45,000 again. You're going to divide the $45,000 by 26 weeks, and that will give you your biweekly salary of $17,3077. So your biweekly salary would be $1,730.77. And that's the amount of gross that you can expect to receive uh, every two weeks. The hourly equivalent, again, is going to be $21.63. That's not going to change for any of these cycles. And you divide your $45,000 by $2080, and that gives you your uh, hourly equivalent of $21.63. So $45,000 divided by 26 weeks gives you $17.3077. And that is your bi-weekly salary before taxes, before deductions. So that would be your gross amount. And again, the hourly equivalent is going to be $21.63. Take your $45,000, divide it by 2,080, and that gives you your hourly equivalent of $21.63. 
An example of how this is paid is usually every other Friday and it's for the previous two weeks work. So every other Friday, but this will be very, this will vary based on your employer's uh, pay schedule. This is just kind of typical where you'll see that it's paid every other Friday. Determining a semi-monthly salary based on an annual amount. So uh, we're gonna use your 45,000 again that we saw earlier, divide that by 24 weeks, and that will give you a semi-monthly salary of uh, $1,875, and that's every, well, it's really twice a month. So you're gonna get paid twice a month in a semi-monthly salary example. Um, it might feel like it's every two weeks, but really it is going to be uh, twice a month. The hourly equivalent, again, uh, take your $45,000 a year, divide it by 2080, and that gives you your 2163 per hour. And here is the calculation again. So $45,000 divided by 24 weeks gives you $1,875, and that is uh, basically twice a month you can expect a gross amount of the $1,875. Again, your hourly equivalent is going to be 2163. You take your $45,000, divide it by 2080, and that gives you your 2163. Examples of when this is paid, uh, since it is paid twice a month, it might be the first and the 15th of the month. It could be the 15th and the last day of the month, which might be the 30th or the 31st, depending on you know the month that you're in. Uh, another example is that it's paid the 5th and the 25th day of the month. Um, this is typically seen in government agencies like city, county, state, federal governments. Um, it might be a school district. Um, it might be a local city jurisdiction, something like that. Uh, you know, county, state, government, uh, that's where you'll typically see this type of payroll schedule, which is a semi-monthly. On to monthly. Uh, so let's see here. We just basically take your $45,000, divide it by 12 months, and that gives you $37.50 per month. So this amount is what you could expect gross per month before taxes, before deductions, and that would be your gross amount once a month. Your hourly equivalent is going to be still your 2163. That's never going to change based on you know the salary that we're using. So you divide your salary of $45,000 by 2080, and that gives you your 2163 per hour. And here's a smaller, easier breakdown. So you take your $45,000, divide it by 12 months, and that gives you 3750. Again, your hourly equivalent, take your $45,000, divide it by 2080, and that gives you $21.63 an hour. An example when this might be paid is the 15th of the month, or the end of the month, uh, might be the last, you know, the last day of the month, which could be the 30th or the 31st. And it's usually for the, for the previous month that you've worked, and this is probably the least common that you'll see. Just a few notes, which I always add in. Uh, so there are 52 weeks in a calendar year. This can uh, vary and change with a leap year, obviously, which would be, thir excuse me, uh, 53 weeks. And uh, your employer will usually account for this, uh, you know, when this does occur. So again, weekly payments are paid once a week. Bi-weekly payments are paid every other week or every other two weeks, or every two weeks, I should say. Uh, Semi-monthly is paid twice a month. Uh, in my opinion, this is the hardest to manage and can be confusing for employees if they're paid by the hour uh, and they're um, eligible for overtime. Um, this can be really confusing um, since one of the weeks could fall, you know, mid midweek in a, in a work week. Monthly payments, uh, this is going to be paid once a month. And, and um, I'd say that probably the downfall for this one is going to be that it's a little bit harder to budget. It's hard to keep track of your money. But... Um, you know, this is definitely still an option that your employer could pay. Uh, the examples provided in this video exclude overtime, so there is no consideration for overtime at all uh, in the examples provided above. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to go over uh, the overtime schedules and examples in a upcoming video. And the calendar year is always January 1 through December 31. Uh, this is you know, when your W-2 is issued, 
Um, the W-2 form is based on actual check dates that are paid in a calendar year. So uh, when you get your, your actual check, look at the check date. That's gonna, it should be between you know, January 1 and December 31 if it's gonna fall on your W-2. Uh, same for your ACH or direct deposit amount. Uh, employers can find cost savings in the type of payroll schedule that they apply according to their frequency. So if you had a weekly versus a bi-weekly schedule, for example, you can cut your cost in half if you're paying weekly uh, by paying bi-weekly. However, you just want to make sure that you check your um, state requirements for payroll frequencies and you know um, how often they're allowed to be paid because this can be vary by um, state and employer as well. Uh, this is Shauna B again, and here's my LinkedIn page. If you'd like to take a look at my profile, feel free to do so. Uh, my disclaimer down here, um, probably the biggest part of this is to make sure that you're always verifying the legislative rules where an employee works and or lives, uh, those and those you know um, of your employer and govern, governing agencies. Uh, governing agencies' legislative um, you know code is going to really govern you know how you're allowed to pay somebody when you're allowed to pay them um, and I hope you enjoyed the video if so please subscribe and click the bell so that you can see future videos uh, I'm gonna try to do these you know as often as I can probably every every week or every two weeks and I appreciate you watching uh, Prudently Peril thanks